Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lursey and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick color adjustment in Photoshop. Now ideally you'll do a custom color balance or a custom white balance in your camera before you shoot and uh, if not maybe you're shooting in RAW and you're photographing a gray card and you'll do your color balance that way afterwards. That's generally what I will do. But every once in a while you get caught in a situation where you've got a shot you like and the color balance was set wrong on the camera or for some reason or another you ended up with weird color. And so what I'm going to show you is on this image here where the color's off, uh, just a quick way how to go in through levels and fix that. All you're going to do right here in your layers palette is go right down here to this little circle with the black and white on it, the little down arrow, and click levels. And this is basically going to put a layer mask on top of our uh, layer right there. Just like that. Then all we have to do is it's going to bring up this little uh, adjustment window here. And I've got three options. I can, I've can i got a black picker, a gray, or a white. Here's how those work. White, you're basically going to look for a white area in here. It's tricky though because if you pick a white area that's already blown out, it won't always work. Um, but you can try it. And generally white will get you pretty close and that looks that looks pretty good. Uh, the other option is you go to black, click the black one, and find she's wearing a black jacket, which is kind of lucky that I've got white and black in this shot, and that looks really good, actually. Um, but in case you don't have a black or a white, uh, usually there's a gray somewhere in the scene, and uh, you just hit this gray right here, find a area that you know is gray, right back there. Wow, I'll give it a nice warm color. So then we look at this image and we can just turn it off and on. That's where we were. That's where we are now. The nice thing about having it on its own layer now is if you decide, well, that's just a little bit too warm, you can take your opacity down a little bit. Just like that. What a nice, uh, that's a nice color on it. So quick and easy. Uh, it just takes a few seconds to fix it up. And I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. Otherwise, check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.